Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with a quick little review for you. Now, I've bought myself a new die cutting machine. I wanted one that were going to fit on my desk and be usable. One that I didn't have to put away when I'd finished using it. Just because I want to use my dies more. I think if you watched my last video, um, you'll have seen that I use my Gemini Mini. Ooh, come here little mini baby. Yeah, I lo absolutely love this thing. One of the reasons I love it is because it comes with folders to put your dies and your paper in and it's just so easy, quick and it just is. It fits on your desk and it's easy to clear up after. And I'd had my eye on this Gemini MIDI which is a larger version of the same thing. It's got suckers on and it sticks to the table and they work really well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there, the cutting area, it'll cut something that's six inches wide and the cutting plates are nine inches long that sort of size so you can see the difference if i show you the little folder from my gemini mini i'll show you its little plate that it comes with yeah rather than being limited to dies that size i can now use dies this size and i don't have a great big huge machine on my desk i mean i do have a sizzix big shot i love it but it's it's big and I have to take it off my desk when I've finished. I don't want to do that. I'm too busy creating and crafting. And yeah, I just want something that I can use and put to one side out that way. I mean, my desk, I did right size at desk down, but then I lost it. <laughs> my desk is one metre by 60 centimetres. If I remember rightly, that's something like 39 by 24 inches. It's not huge. So I don't want a great lumping thing in the middle of my desk all the time this i think i'm gonna like so let's get on with using it uh, i'm gonna blame a few of my subscribers for the fact that i've bought it but i'm also gonna blame my subscribers for helping me to buy it because what i've done is i've saved my commission from amazon you know every time i buy something off amazon and you want it and then you buy it using my link i get a small commission so that is what's paid for this die cutting machine i save that up until there's something I really need or really want. And I think this falls slightly into both categories. So let's get using it. Shrimp Waffling Woman. Got more rattle than a can of abs. Right, this is the folder it comes with. Yeah, I've used you can you see I've used it once and I made this little tag. I could have done that in my little mini, but I just wanted to make sure it cut, you know, before I come on camera with it. I mean, you never know, you could have got a faulty machine. If that ever happens to you, anything, don't throw a baby out with bath water, go it swapped. I had a what machine did I have that once faulty? I think it was my electric die cutting machine. First one I had was absolutely rubbish, but it was faulty. I've had it now, the replacement, for oof, about 10 years and I love it. But it's big and it's bulky and it's not for just a teeny little die cut that you want to put in a junk journal. It was great when I were mass making cards, but not for this so this is what i want right let's find a die that's bigger let's find some that won't go in my little one but will go in this i've got a few uh sus usual suspects out this is another die that i like this is what i call a cheaty die yeah, i've never used circles but this is what it does i mean i cut these ages ago and i've never used them <laughs> it's supposed to look like you've torn it rather than cut it which it does i quite like that that's cute so let's give that a whirl in here see what happens i've just grabbed some random card and paper yeah you know colors that i don't use these are all cut to size ready for card blanks but i just don't use these colors anymore that's a nice pale blue we'll do a pale blue and a pale pink they really don't matter i used to do a lot of baby cards an album mini albums and stuff so i'm going to pop my piece of blue card inside that folder then i'm going to grab my biggest die i think Should we use, uh, let's use circles because i've not used them Wee. these are tattered lace dies but loads of different brands do the same thing now don't they right pop it cutting edge down like that now normally with a die cutting machine you've got two plates that aren't fastened together and then you know if while you're moving it if you're carrying it to your die machine it moves with this doo -doo -doo -doo, that's one of the things i like about it 
I mean, any die cutting machine's dies will be spot on when it's brand new and your plates are straight. But if you've die cut, if you've had other die cutting machines, you'll know that doesn't always work. Stick it to the thing. There you go. So, yeah, I'm just waffling now, moaning about other die cutting machines. Oh, look at that. It gives you an absolutely spot on cut. I like that. And it embosses the edge a little bit. Mmm. And that, imagine that. That could just be, that could be a journal front. Yeah, it could be a card front. It could be anything. Yeah, you can, you can decide what to use it for. Right, I'm going to get my pink one now. Slightly thinner card, this. Couldn't tell you the weights. This is, I've got to be honest, this card is older than my children. And they're 15. This is how long it's, I could put it up there and make room, but I may use this in a journal as a little aperture for a pocket or something. <laughs> because I've got a, I'm sticking it to a cutting mat rather than a desk, it is. It's doing a little bit of sliding. But once it grabs, just hold the top. It's quite easy to turn as well, actually. I have dodgy wrists sometimes with arthritis, but that's when I stop. Oh yeah. It also depends on how much die cutting you're going to do as well. I won't have a mass making session with a manual die cutter, but this, I quite like. That's pretty, isn't it? Imagine that in a nice craft card stock and some cream. Should have got some out really, shouldn't I? But it would have just ended up in my stash, not getting used. So it cuts really nice. Now, one thing that I can't really comment too much on yet, these plates do warp. If I show you my old plate from my little Gemini Mini, that's the new one that I haven't used yet. Where's old and gone woman? Where's is it? There you go, look, they warp. But they still work, which I find amazing. And you can flap them that way and that way. Let's grab a little die and cut it. What we got hanging about? Oh, I've got a little doily. Well, let's try this little doily die. I'm sorry, you're now not going to be an aperture because I'm going to use a bit of you to cut a little doily. In fact, oh, yeah, something else to mention. I can use the plates from my little machine through that big one. So I would only use the big folder when I was using big dies. Simple reason, the big folders are more expensive than the little ones. This cost me £4 for three little folders, but it is £8 for two big folders. Mm. And I like to save a bob or two, I do. If you save a bob or two where you can, you can afford the splurges when you want them, can't you? Right, so yeah, look, the little folders will go through this midi machine, which I absolutely love. I think that's something to do with the way it grabs it. It grabs the whole length rather than just in certain places. So let's have a look at this. So yeah, look, even though that plate is a bit wobbly, it's going to stay exactly where you want it to when you put it in because you can hold it like so. And it just works. I like it. I really do. Right, grab something. Right, let's poke. There's one hole when you poke dies that is to grab the actual die. There we go. Let's try. There you go. It, it cuts them so well as well. So it's not um, a mess and a faff getting those out. I do like that. That's cute. So... What we've covered there, yeah? I just like it, basically. Right, at minute, and I don't get any commission from Crafter's Companion. Right, the, maybe, I, maybe I didn't look right. This is on offer at minute at Crafter's Companion. Oh, you get the die cutting machine, you get two plates instead of one, and you get this. This is what we're going to need to do embossing. You get that, and a little bag to put them in, all for less than price at, at machine normally. I'm... Trying hard to remember, I think that's $90 in the US and it's £70 in UK. I bought just the machine. Just the machine was £70 on Crafter's Companion in the UK, but I could have got it I got it off Amazon for £60 because it was £10 cheaper. Why wouldn't you? Also on same day delivery. Like a bit of same day delivery. So yeah, have a look. I will put the links in. 
Uh, if you'd buy it from Amazon, I do get commission. If you buy it from Crafter's Companion, I don't. But I would recommend Crafter's Companion at minute because it's got the better deal. I only bought mine from Amazon because I thought it had the better deal. I was wrong. Right. So that's cutting. It, should we try it? Oh, I've done an intricate die cut. Yeah. So we've done an intricate one. We've done a big one. It cuts lovely. I will update you if it doesn't cut lovely once that plate gets a bit more warped. We shall have to see. Right. This thing is for when you're using embossing folders. Um, if you don't know what embossing folders are, I've already had a play with some of you because embossing folders come in different shapes and sizes. Right, I've got that one that came free on a magazine. It's very thin. I'm anticipating having some problems with that because I've had problems with this in other die cutting machines, but it's cute. That's so nice to make a little pocket in your journals. Got the cute little buzzy bee. Uh, this is a 3D embossing folder. It's a Gemini branded one. Goes through lovely. I did have a piece that I'd done with that and then it, it fell on the floor. So we're going to use, we're going to show you that one. This is a design objectives. Lovely bit of embossing. But with some of these, because they are thin, as well as using this plastic shim, you have to use an extra piece of card. The thickness you'll have to play about with. But that is a standard thing for any die cutting or embossing machine. You've got to play about with what they call the sandwich. The sandwich is how you layer up your plates or whatever you use to cut with. And I'll show you. I'll, I'll do another one of these to show you. What colour? I'll do it in pink this time. I'm liking pink. And instead of ripping card like I did when I was off camera, I'll be semi-professional. Just semi-professional, not totally, because I never am. And I'll... Ooh, that's already embossed. That's build up play. No point embossing that lovely embossed card, is there? That really would be uh, taking it too far. I'll cut this in half. There you go. Much more professional than tearing it. Great. So pop your card in. And I've got the purple mat and a piece of card. And I'm going to pop this through my machine. Do you know, I like how it wiggles. It's turned out really good for this video. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Wee. Oh, we got a wee in, didn't we? Wee! I never knew we would on this video. So, oh, look at that, I like. Now, we've got a bit of waving and wobbling. That's just something that happens. It's all that pressure you're putting on that card to make this embossed image, or whatever it is. But a little bit of paper manipulation like that normally sorts that out. I really like that. I'm just going to work. I've just got my... Embossing tool, my inking tool, should I say? That's just picking out the raised bits, so hopefully you can see where it's embossed a little bit better. I, I love embossing folders. Again, there's something I don't use often enough, and it's all down to the fact that it's a palaver getting my big die cutting machine out. So that's why I have my eye on this little beauty, and I'm not disappointed. I've I've not used it much yet, but I'm loving it already. Right, here's another one. This is a Sizzix uh, embossing folder from, this came from Stamping Up. You can probably tell how long I've had this if you bought these new. Especially if you're Stamping Up demonstrator, you're going to know when this came out. And I think this one, I think kids were about five when I bought this. I think this was when I first started going back to card making classes. When kids started school. So let's try, I think this one went through without a shim. Because I think this is what you would call your standard embossing folder. Let's get a whirl. Not without a shim at all. You still need to use this purple shim, sorry. But without an extra piece of card. Anything that you put in extra to make it fatter is called a shim. You can use metal, you can use magnetic plates. You can use bits of card. I've got a few dodgy dies that only a little bit cuts. There's a little bit that doesn't cut properly, so I'll just tear a teeny little bit of paper and put it under the bit that doesn't normally cut. And that's still classed as a shim. Right, well, I, I do love this. I went mad for this embossing folder when I saw it. So nice on cards. Yeah, look at that. This one's good both ways. Little crosses on. Love it. So, yeah, the Sizzix stamping up one. Don't even need to use an extra piece of card. So that's good. What else did I try? Oh, I tried this one. 
I'm not going to redo every one of these. This is a Deris. This one, I needed to use an extra bit of card because it were a little bit thinner. If I show you them, I don't know if you can pick it up, you can probably see the difference. If you're an experienced die cutter or embosser, embosser, yeah, what's an experienced embosser? I don't know. You, you get to know, you get to know the feel of, will I need that, will I, will I not? If in doubt, use less rather than more because you don't want to put extra pressure and strain on your machine. But this machine, again, seems pretty good with that. If it don't want to take it through, it, it's not going to let you. A lot of machines will let you take it through and break them. I know this for a fact because I broke a Spellbinders Grand Calibre once, yeah? I did then get it swapped. <laughs> and the new one, to be honest, did seem better. I don't know if it were me or machine. I blame machine. A bad workman always blames his tools. So that one goes through. You need a piece of card for that Derice one. What are the brands? This is... I think that's a Crafter's Companion old one, but I'm not sure. Anyway, that one needed an extra piece of card. I'll show you what happens if you put it through when... Use the pink, girl, because it tends to show up better on that pink, I think. Have I got another piece of pink? Or have I used them both now? I've used both pinks. Let's grab another piece for you. I'm semi-prepared for video, as usual. Semi-prepared. It won't be a jewel of video if we weren't doing a bit of faffing, would it? Oh, I think anyone who actually tuned in just for a review on Gemini has actually seen what they need to see now. So I'm going to start waffling about my cat. Oh, my word. My new cat, Nala. Yeah, just over a year old, if you've not heard me what going on about her before. She's a tabby cat and she's a bit mad. She's gorgeous, but mad. Right, I'm just going to try this without a paper shim, just to see what occurs. I mean, sometimes, uh, yeah, you can fit it. I can turn that with one finger. Watch, put it in shot. Look, I can turn that with one finger. It's going through so easy. So that's telling me it's probably not going to give me too deep an impression. But even still, I've got a little bit of an impression, haven't I? Yeah, I'm going to try putting it back in. If you want it to emboss in exactly the same place, you've got to put it back in exactly the same place. Woman, why did you lift it up? Oh, just use another bit of card. There you go. So this time I'm going to stick a piece of card in as an extra shim. Yeah, it's a bit more pressure. I think I could have got away with a slightly thicker piece of card, got an even deeper emboss. But, like I say, if in doubt... Ooh, Looks like uh, this is an old, oh wow, how old is this embossing folder? The paint's coming off, look at that. Oh, look at that, lordy, that's a shock. But the embossing it's done is lovely. I'm going to put that, I don't know why it's got paint on anyway, most of them don't, but look, I've got a mucky finger. I think I'm going to wash that off. I'll stick that in the sink with a bit of fairy and get my dish scrubber on and get shut of that blue because I don't want my machine full of blue paint. That's shocking. Look, oh, terrible. We'll put that to one side. There you go. Live disasters. <laughs> well, we're not live, are we? But you know what I mean. I'm going to get rid of that as well because I don't want blue on that. Wow. Yeah, nice bit of embossing. Shame about the folder. There we go. So, what else that was one? Oh, I did this one. This one went through without a shim. That's a lovely embossing folder. That that again is by Design Objectives. But point I'm making is most embossing folders are a little bit different. Now, one final one I'm going to use is this. It's one of the 3D embossing folders, and this one. I'm sure I didn't even need, no, you don't even need to use a shim at all for the Crafter's Companion 3D embossing folders. I'll show it you. What shall I use? Do you know, I'm just, I'm going to use one that's already been embossed, see what occurs. Just see what occurs. Whee. These are really thick, these 3D ones. Yeah, perfect. Wee. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, a bit of a clunk, a bit of a clunk. Don't worry about the clunks. Wow, look, look at that. It's totally got rid of the dots. I'm going to chop that down. You can see what's happened. Because I have embossed that and it's basically ma manipulated the paper, everything outside that embossing area has gone a bit crinkly, hasn't it? So let's get, let's get a shut of it. To be honest, most of the time I'll just emboss a piece of card size I want embossing. I'm just messy. Ah, there you go, can you see? Apparently you can get a much deeper emboss and it can crinkle and crack your paper less if you spritz it with water. But I don't, I've, I've not had trouble with my paper cracking. Cracking. <laughs> I said the wrong thing there, didn't I? Oops. Well, I don't know. So, yeah, that's lovely. Now, a little bit of sad news for you if you've got a lot of... Well, it's not sad. I'm not that sad about it because I've only ever bought one of these. But where's it gone? Come back. Come back. I think I... Uh, just threw it in disgust. Oh, is it gone? I'm looking for, I've got one Tim Holtz Texture Fades embossing, 3D embossing folder and it don't fit through because it's too big. I'm going to pause and find it. Here we go, I've found it. Yeah, these are, they're not cheap these. And I'll take it out of packet because it's been out of packet. I, I happen to have never used it. I bought it for a particular project for a journal swap I'm supposed to be doing. And yeah, ooh, it's gonna get, it gives you a lovely deep etch in, in different layers. That's why it's 3D. But don't buy these if you've got the Gemini MIDI or don't buy the Gemini MIDI expecting to use these because they don't work. But do you know what I said about if you put something too thick, thick through your machine, you can break it? The decision I'm going to make here is not to buy any more of these because I am daft, I'd be daft enough to try and wax this through my uh, electric die cutting machine and break it because it's too thick and I've put wrong sandwich in. So I don't know why you did that, Timmy. Yeah, it's going to be a lovely deep etched emboss, but... At the cost of your machine, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, I've got machines that will definitely cut this, but would I get that machine out just to cut this one embossing folder? Not really sure I would. So, yeah, that's a bit of a moan. Sorry. I do love Tim Holtz. Yeah, just not too keen on them, knowing they don't fit through this. It is the only thing I own that I can't fit through it, to be quite honest. Everything else can be... Yeah, done with an extra shim or piece of card. I'm just going to try this final one before I waffle on about cat again. We'll use this bit of card. This one came free on a magazine and I'm just, I don't know how many shims I'm going to need. It's quite thin and flimsy. But you can see how it bends. Mm. I don't know how long I've had it. I've probably had it longer than I've had kids. I don't know. But I did go mad on buying card making. Yeah, that's that's not going to happen. I'm going to put some more card in with it. My desk's an absolute horrendous mess now, in case you're wondering. Let's get this other one I used as a shim. No, that were embossed. That's the one I've used as a shim. I'll put that through, see what... This one would probably work better on uh, the little purple mat that comes from a little Gemini midi. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not... That's Actually, that's better... I just remember having a nightmare getting this one to work. Oh, I like it. Ooh, I can just cut that across, ink it up, make that into a little pocket in a junk journal. Love it. Or I could then just die cut. Let's not die cut, get a punch. Let's get a punch. I'm just messing now. So, main gist of videos over in Dunway, I'm just messing. Let's get a punch, punch that circle. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Oh, look at that for a dangle. Yeah. Right. Because I had trouble talking about the cat while telling about telling you about this die cutting machine, I'll waffle about the cat. So bye-bye to any non-cat people. <laughs> yeah. As you all know, I've got this new cat that I've adopted <laughs> through Cat's Protection. And I've only had her two weeks as yesterday. And earlier this week, she escaped through my bathroom window on Tuesday. Oh, my word. Uh, yeah, I would not quite shut bathroom door well enough. She didn't hurt herself. As it would happen, we've got like a 
I don't know what they're called, like little awning over at the front door. So she's jumped down onto that. Then we've got a big window salon downstairs bathroom, toilet, whatever you want to call it. If you're posh, it's a downstairs bathroom. We call it downstairs loo. And then she jumped onto that and she were gone for about three, four hours. And oh my word, our phone to lady from Cats Protection having a panic when she'd been gone about three hours. And yeah, she turned up at tea time, sauntered in through patio door like, like she'd been going in and out for weeks, like she'd lived here for years. And then she gave me a really disgusting look because there were no food in a bowl. As if to say, you've dropped ball, you've not fed me. But oh my word, that was the longest two or three hours of my life. And thank you to Fiona if you're watching, because I know you've now subscribed, for calming me down. I was I ready to panic. Yeah, this lady from Cats Protection, she says, if don't worry, we will get her back. If she's not back in a day or so, we can lend you one of these humane traps. We will get her back. And I was just like, oh, I was so relieved when she came home. And then Fiona said the loveliest thing by text. She says, it just shows she's happy at your house if she's come back. So, yeah, Nala's happy. Right, I'm going to stop waffling now. And, yeah. So that's where I think of my Gemini Midi. I've told you why I wanted it, so I can keep it on my desk and use it. It should save me money, because I'll then use all the dyes I've already got. Yeah? Hmm. Instead of buying new things, that's the plan anyway. So, thank you, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye!